Okay, with 6A here we have a cell phone company and we're going to check the bill for one customer. Right here we have the pseudocode. I'm going to go over to the flowchart real fast and we can check this out. Um, I'll go back over this um, when we go into the pseudocode. But I'm just going to scroll around here so you can see it right off the start. And if you know what you're doing, then it's pretty easy to kind of figure what out what's going on here. <clears throat> and you'll see like the validating inputs both for area code and phone number. Just because we don't want to have like we, we only want to have three numbers entered, no more, no less for area code. And the same goes for phone number with seven numbers entered. And so the val validating input one and two is going to look like this. <clears throat> and so you can see that there. Let's go over to the pseudocode here. Uh, this problem, we really need uh, five, there's like five areas that the problem they want you to remember and use. So one of that, one of those uh, things that they say is, you know, this is in the problem is uh, you have to include a tax, and it's federal and local combined, and that's fourteen percent. So we're going to use that in the problem. Uh, the book is going to have a different number here, so change that to whatever the book has. The second thing is that you've got a base price of ten dollars. This number is also going to change when you look at the book, so use the number that the book has. So we've got $10 no matter what and anything that you, like if you exceed any limits, we just add on different costs. The uh, third and fourth are these variables here, over 180 and over 60. And <clears throat> what this one is, over 180, is if you go over uh, the 180 text message mark, like if you've sent more than 180 text messages in a month, anything over 180 is going to cost 10 cent each. Now, if you've read the, the problem, just remember that this actually shouldn't be there. I don't think you need these with pseudocode. <clears throat> if you read the problem, you'll remember that all the text messages up to 60 are included in that you know, $10 base charge there. And everything from 60 or I believe it's 61 to 180, all of those text messages are going to cost you $0.05 cent each. So everything over 180 is $0.10 cent each. That's why we need two variables to store the whatever you know, is going to, however many messages are going to be in that range, in those two ranges. Um, and the fifth thing is that they want to know the bill before taxes and they want to know the bill after taxes. So, <clears throat> with all of that in mind, we know we need taxes, we know we need a total, we know we need two variables for uh, however many text messages went over 180 and how however many text messages fall within that range of being greater than 60 and up to six, uh, up to 180. So then we also know that we're going to have to figure out how many text messages they sent, so we need a variable for that. We also are told that we need their area code and phone number. So, of course, we're going to need two variables for that. And then this tax that's just the tax rate. We want to figure out the actual, we're going to need to know the actual tax on their bill. Um, so we do know we're going to have to have a variable for tax. So those are all the variables we're going to need for this. As we go on to start the program, we're going to ask for the area code. And we're going to you know, validate that input. And you can see down here where we're making sure that only three numbers are entered. And we're going to ask for the phone number. Uh, where's that? At? Yep, ask for the phone number, and we're going to validate that input, and that's over here. So we go on after that to get the, 
the number of text messages they sent that month. And that's going to be stored in this variable here. After that, we're just going to output their personal information, their area code and phone number, and the number of text messages they sent that month. And that's what these two lines are. Now it gets a little bit crazy. <clears throat> and I'll go over to the flowchart for this one. So what, we're, what we've got here is that imagine if you sent 190 text messages uh, this month. You obviously are going over that 180 mark there. So 10 text messages are going to be charged at 10 cent. And we start that off by saying this variable right here, over 180, um, this is going to hold however many text messages went over 180. And we figure that out by saying the number of texts we sent this month, which is 190, we subtract 180 from that, and we get 10. And 10 is stored in this variable. So we know that 10 text messages are going to be 10 cent each. That's going to give us a dollar. Now total, if you remember, already has $10. If you look up here at the declarations, total already has $10. We're always going to be charged at least $10. So total contains 10, and then those 10 text messages times 10 cent gives us a dollar. So total plus equals $1 will give us $11 in this variable total now, because 10 plus 1 is 11. Now we need to adjust the number of text messages, like whatever number is stored in this variable. We need to adjust that so we can figure out um, how much, how many text messages are going to be charged at five cent each, because we know that we still have over sixty text messages. So we just do number of texts minus equals over one eighty, which is that those ten text messages, and then we have one eighty. So now number of texts holds the uh, number 180. And this statement will be true now because 180 is actually less than or equal to 180 and greater than 60. So now we can figure out how many text message will, messages will be charged 5 cent. So over 60. That's where we're going to store all the text messages between 60 or you know actually it's starting at 61 and going to 180 and we do that by this equation number of texts and that holds the number 180 minus 60 these are all of our messages that are included remember because you can have at least you can have up to 60 messages that are included in that $10 base price so when we do this, we're going to come out with the number 120. And 120 is going to be stored in this variable now. See, this equation equals that. So 120 goes into this. And now we can say 120 text messages exceed that 60 freebie kind of mark. So 120 times 5 cent each will give us 6 bucks. And then we add that 6, see total plus equals. 6, add the 6 to the 11 that we had in here, and that gives us 17. So that's that's kind of like the, the problem area. That's the difficult to kind of figure out. We start at the high end, and we work our way back to all the ones that are included, the 60 text messages that are just included. <clears throat> and now from there, we go on to figure out our tax. So the tax is going to equal that total, which now holds 17, and 17 times 14%, and remember you got to change that 14 to whatever the book has, that's going to give us 2.38. So $2.38 is going to be stored in the variable tax now. But we don't want to add that to the total yet. We just want to keep that off to the side for now because we want to output our bill before taxes. So we do that first using the variable total, and total contains the number 17. Now after that, 
we're going to add tax to total. So it's going to be 19.38. And then we output the bill again using that same variable total, but only total now after adding the tax to it will display 19.38. And then we stop. So that's, that's what's going on there with the flow chart. It's a little bit to grasp. This area is just a, you know, messes with your mind. It's, there's a lot going on here. Um, and here's what, here's what the code's going to look like if you actually code it out. So you can see everything's pretty similar. And we've just got validations here and here. And then this is the problem area right there. So let's go ahead and run this and check it out. All right, area code. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let's do 190. So it'll display the phone number, number of text messages sent that month, bill before taxes, and the bill after taxes. But that's basically it for this problem. Um, we're only checking for one person. Uh, I hope it made a little bit of sense here. If not, just kind of spend some time with it. Um, if all else, you know it works. <laughs> so it, it, is, it is kind of a handful. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.